you know, this is not a hard project, and I'm sure you can do it. And the thing is, is if there's small little odd jobs, odds and ends around the house that need to be done, if you don't do them, who will? So, you know, I can have these just push down tight and do it, or I can split the difference. See, usually what I like to do is split the difference on them up and down, and then you can take a level on it if you're concerned. You go from the left to the right, see? This can move, so you just split the difference on that. You can take a level across there after you get this. You can eyeball that up and down from left to right and put the screw in. And then this one, I'm going to go from left to right into the middle. Okay, then if you want, you can put a level across there. You can measure if you've got a straight top. Now, you may think, hey, I don't have to measure it. I got it in. I put it right in the holes. But you see how much slop there was? So now I can measure from the top down. I got three and three quarters. This one I got three and a short three quarters. This one is right at three quarters. This one's a short three quarters. So in all technicality, it's probably fine. But I can lower this because I had it right in the middle. You see? And you can measure it again if you want. I've got three and three quarters on both of those. Those look fine now. Wow, hey, we're almost there. You've done it almost. Now here's the part that just cracks me up sometimes. Okay, you've only got the little Allen wrench screw on one side of this, right? And so there's going to be a left and there's going to be a right because the last thing you want to do is see these from the top. You never want to do that. You always want the set screw, whether or not it's a little slotted screwdriver slot or an Allen head. You want those facing down. Now see that one there. We know this needs to go that way, but that one's on the top. And, and for this one to match, that one would be on the top. We don't want that. So see, this one cannot fit there, can it? It's going to fit over here. I'm just going to flip it upside down and put it on. Just don't forget, sometimes they have these screws set all the way in. So you got to loosen that up with your Allen. Make sure that goes back far enough. You go back too far and this pops out. So just be careful with that. And then you want to fit it over the top and then hold it there and tighten it up with the Allen wrench. Okay, little by little you can do it just back and forth. Hold your mouth just right so you can fit that. Because see it's so close you don't want to try to bend this out and sometimes maybe you can think you can turn this all the way around but then you would scratch the cabinet you're going to scratch the sheet wrap wall and all that. Okay, so easy as you go. Now see I pulled that one out. I, I didn't have it in all the way. And I've got it kind of at an angle so that I can get the screw in and I did a few little twists without hitting the cabinet. Okay, but now once I get it closer, I'm just gonna keep moving this over. I just want I just want it snug, okay? Don't overdo it. Feel that, make sure it's nice and snug. Last thing you want is for you to think you've got it over the top and, and it's it's not over the top and you tighten this up and then this thing kind of chatters because it's not set right, okay? This one, how are we going to do this? That's right, the same way. Put that over there. Make sure you're definitely locked in there like that. Some, some are different than that. Some don't even have an Allen wrench uh, set screw or anything like that. It's like a compression fitting and you fit it on there and maybe there's two prongs on the wall coming up and then this kind of lifts over it and then you have to 
line it up just right, and then tap down on it. So if you ever see something that doesn't have any set screws, if you're trying to pull this off in the future, you don't see anything, then try taking your hand and popping up on it and slipping it up and out. Okay, well, I'm going to tighten this one now. Incidentally, when you're, when you're starting to tighten those up, they should go up nice and easy. If you got the set screw, you look down there, if you see that the set screw is sticking out about halfway, or if it's not like flush or maybe indentated inside a little bit as you're tightening it up, you might not have it over the bottom lip all the way. So make sure you readjust it, make sure it's down all the way. Maybe you didn't have the set screw out unscrewed far enough before you put it up against the wall and tighten it up. Okay, just play with it, you'll get it. Let's hook this up here. There it is. Ready for the next customer. That's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.